There you go. Yeah. See, yeah, uh, he's a YouTuber. He knows how to ham it up. <laughs> so this is first in line to get the Metallica. We've got um, some promo guitar picks we're giving away. All right. Cool. As well as the Metallica caution tape. That'll keep him out of the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Wall in use. Yeah. Right. You guys hear what the what Death Bills wanted to actually name the album? No. Yeah. Oh, what's the name? Three to one. He got outvoted. <laughs> Alright, man. Thanks right, very much. Thank you so much, man. You got it. Alright, thanks for coming Cheers. in tonight. All right, so you had to get in here and get this one now? Yeah, I had to get in there and get it. I'm actually uh, on my uh, I'm on night call at the hospital. Oh. I just woke up, but I woke up in time to pick up a copy of this. So that's a true fan. Yeah, yeah. You had to have. Yeah. Are you gonna go for the other variants that are out there? No, I, I'm I'm usually a one variant kind of guy. Like as soon as I have it, I'm happy to have it. But yeah. I'll be picking up the CD as well. Oh, okay, so you can kind of have it more mobile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm still one of those old guys that still has the CD player in the car, and I gotta, you know. I'm yeah, like, I'm listening to the black album in the car right now. Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm so. a, what is it? They call you collector scum. That's how I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So and you uh, you have a channel, so that'd be cool. Yeah. What's your channel? Yeah, my channel's uh, Headbangers Ballroom. Um, okay. I go by Marty McFly. Okay, that's um, cool. So that, that's my channel. I think the or the actual YouTube num is like it's like Headbangers Ballroom six six six. Okay. Um, I do a lot of heavy metal vinyl reviews. I do concert reviews. Um, you know, I do a lot of that stuff. Uh, like Chimera just got back together doing a big show in Cleveland. I did a whole review on that. So you're another genre that I don't even know about. So I definitely need to subscribe. Yeah, to. punk, hardcore, metal. Um, okay. I even have like a little bit of like random stuff, like jazz blues on there too. Okay, so that's where you connect. Um, and you do new. Have you heard any of the songs yet? Uh, yeah, yeah. Listen. So uh, the nice thing about being on night shift is. Uh, if we have a long, we don't have a whole bunch of new patients coming in, well, we have a little stereo. Yeah. So we played through the whole thing last night. Okay, so they already have it like on streaming services? Yeah, yeah. It was okay. on uh, Spotify and Amazon at like midnight. Oh, okay, yeah, because I saw like last week they had one or two of the songs that were available. Yeah. So the whole thing. Okay, that's cool. So anything stick out that you like? A couple things that really stuck out with me, like Sleep My Life Away, um, Crown of Barbed Wire, Chasing Light. Okay. All those kind of stuck out with me, they're kind of dark, kind of moody. Yeah, had a little bit well, more metallic. Yeah, kind of up tempo right? yeah. compared to like some of the other songs. Yeah, does it sound like like newer Metallica, or does anything like remind you of old Metallica? I would say like uh, Crown of Barbed Wire and Chasing Light kind of had a little bit of uh, maybe like Master Puppets feel because they're a little bit up tempo. Okay. A um, little bit more guitar work, a little bit more focus on that as opposed to just vocals. Cool. Yeah. All right. Big so. Fan. I'm thinking about it. I'm not like a big heavy metal guy, but I'm like staring at this album. Like, oh, I don't know. And I was listening to the Black Album. I'm like, I might need to get this thing. Yeah. So. That, to me, I mean, uh, I'll pick up anything by them. Uh, the last couple records, I think I just had CD. I didn't even do vinyl for those, but uh, definitely happy to pick this one up. Cool. Plus the guitar picks and all that stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah, you had to get that yeah, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's cool. Why do you think about that? All right. Cool. Well, thanks for uh, taking a couple minutes to talk Thank about you. it. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Yeah. Cool. Well, there's purchase number two. So this was customer number two. Hopefully you can hear me over this loud ruckus that's playing. What is this? Try it. It's like Neil Diamond on steroids up there. Is that what that is? So you're customer number two to buy the Metallica album. Yeah. And it's funny because that sticker makes me think it's the back of the album. Right? It looks oh, yeah. like the, right? The height sticker is so funky. It is weird. I don't... Personally, I don't care for those. I wish the logo was a Honda yeah, record. Yeah, like it's more solid. Yeah, it just blends in. You know, because you have to... So, <laughs> I'm sure there's people that cut those out specifically. And, oh, you know, I, yeah, I keep my... I'll probably do it. <laughs> yeah, I keep my hypes. So, you haven't heard anything off this yet? You know, only Lux Eterna, really. I mean, I'm not a big streamer. I mean, I do stream sometimes in my car, but yeah. I tend to like to listen to something fresh. Like as a whole, instead of like songs. Yeah. I don't love when they release songs early. You want to hear the whole thing? I would rather hear. Well, unfortunately, and I mean, nothing for nothing. But these, what happens is, is nowadays it's all about singles. I would actually like to hear Master of Puppets remat. Like I wish they would go in and and redo kind of it, clean it up a little bit, yeah. and just polish it a little bit as far as 
they could make the guitars a little bit louder on that record. Right. You know, but just my own personal choice. Some would say don't touch it. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, you know? yeah, you're used to hearing it a certain yeah. way. So. I'm okay when artists try to do that, as long as the original album is still available to right. buy. I'm yeah. cool with it, but, okay. you know. All right, well, cool. Yeah. Thanks for taking a minute. Yeah, yeah take care. You're not a Metallica fan, are you? Not at all. No, okay, I couldn't tell. Yeah. <laughs> so, what you got there? Have you heard the album yet? Yes, I have. I was at the Global yeah. Listening Party last night in the movie theaters. Oh. And it is fantastic. Where did they I have that? Love it. Where did they have AMC, actually, and Oldsmar had it. Okay. And they did announce on that show that they're going to be airing two of the concerts in August in the theaters as well. Oh, okay. The double, just so everyone knows, the M72 will be in theaters. I'm assuming you'll be yeah. there for one of those shows. Absolutely. Both of them, because oh, there's no repeat different. weekends. Okay. So every show will be different both nights. Okay. As for this beauty, personally, I love it. I've loved Metallica ever since I could really start listening to music. And they'll never be like they were, let's be honest. Everything is getting different. They're growing. Musically, it sounds great. Um, my initial listen through, my favorite was Too Far Gone because of the lyrics. It's really cool because you always know we're never really too far gone. We can come back. You know, James has proved it to us time and time again. Yeah, we can right. always come back. Yeah. So, all in all, great album. Um, I love the whole concept of 72 Seasons. I love the way they chose that as the title. If you don't know, 72 Seasons is the first 18 years of your life. Think about that for a second, guys, and you'll understand. Yeah, Hetfield was saying that yeah, it's where you've kind of formed all your ideas. Exactly. Who you are, you're getting ready to face adulthood, and you're kind of, you're, yeah, like you're formed. All your ideas exactly. are Everything that I love then, you know? Yeah. If I love it now, it was because you, of that. <laughs> you're right. Now, what would you compare, are there any songs that you can compare to any of the older stuff that kind of remind you of old Metallica, or is this still just straightforward new Metallica? I think it's a little more on the new Metallica side. But there's nothing wrong with that. Look at, They've right. grown. Um, Rob's doing a lot more. He's doing some vocals now. The bass work is incredible on this album, and the mix is great. Okay. Honestly, it sounded better in my house than it did in the movie theater. Okay. Not even kidding. My little Frankenstein system sounded great. And that's what's important, because that's what you'll be listening exactly. to. Exactly. So that's cool. All right, so if you had to pick, if you had to pick, what's your favorite Metallica album? Favorite album? Ride the Light. Okay, that's easy. Ride the Lightning. Okay. It's always a toss-up for most fans between Ride the Lightning and Master. Okay. I just happen to love Ride the Lightning. I love everything about it. Well, other than Ride the Lightning, let's be honest, I am a huge fan of when they did everything with the orchestra. And here's the picture to prove it. Yeah, you, you can't, uh, yeah. And I'm going to say that's pretty permanent. All right, cool.